to me, my whole artistic process began when I was a child. I must have been perhaps, I was seven or eight years old, and we lived in this old colonial house that had this uh, very large wall in the backyard, and the wall would grow this uh, green moss in it. And I would take uh, sticks and run up and down the wall making drawings, and that is one of my first uh, recollections of creating an image that made me feel happy and free and, and in many, many ways connected. The second time, I must have been 12 years old, and now I'm living in Madrid. Uh, I'm a political exile, and uh, I go to the movies on Sundays with some friends, and my friends decided that that day they were going to go into this movie, and I decided that I was going to go to the Prado. So I went to the Prado, and I walked around, saw the works of uh, you know, the masters, and in particular Goya. And at that point, uh, I think I was, uh, I was hooked. My early childhood was defined by political upheaval and, uh, and revolution. Uh, I was a little kid while Castro was taking over Cuba, and I got to experience the, the insecurity, the madness, the, the, you know, the, the lack of consensus among adults uh, in a first-hand way, while I was perhaps way too young to, to even understand such passions and, and, and emotions. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't just difficult for, for us, but it was difficult for, for everyone. I mean, the, the island to me felt like a prison. And my father was in a prison, and I was in a prison, and my mother was in a prison, and we were all in a prison, because we couldn't express ourselves, and we couldn't be who we were. And even though that I was extremely young at the time, I became aware that freedom was something worth fighting for. My first uh, attempt at making something out of, uh, out of my art uh, early on was through the medium of, uh, of photography. I, I, I got a camera, I drove my, my dad crazy and he finally got me a camera and I started photographing and, and that was uh, my introduction to, to, the, to the creative process. Uh, later on, I went to Glaseo uh, to take photography courses, and then I found painting and, and printmaking, and, and then once I discovered the possibilities of, of those two mediums, uh, photography became less of a, of a primary source of creativity, and, and little by little, first printmaking and then painting uh, became what, what to me uh, had some, some deeper meaning uh, and allowed me to, to go deeper into the, uh, into the unknown. To me, my, my practice is, is, is almost monastic in the sense that I get up in the morning every single day, uh, I go to work, and, um, and I go to work, you know, whether it's bright or rainy or I feel good or I feel bad, uh, work is, uh, is a constant. So I tend to work with, uh, with the project and then I let the project tell me what the medium is going to be. You know, I have a tendency 
to to like to work with you know paint and 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 now I'm, I'm working with a lot of metal, but oftentimes uh, I I ask myself, okay, if this is what I want to deal with, if this is the what I want to speak to, then what is the best way to do it? And then I let that dictate uh, my way uh, to express the idea rather than 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 forcing that into into any 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 given medium. Uh, for the longest time, I was very interested on on on, on doing uh, what I call modern day archaeology, in the sense that I was going around the streets looking for markings and things that, that we humans leave behind, and I was going in at nighttime and literally uh, pouring uh, paint on it and lifting images from the streets and bringing them into the studio. And, and reprocessing them on, on the studio. If we were to depart from an understanding that, that life uh, shapes and, and informs you through, through the process of living, and all of that at some point becomes part of your art, uh, then I will have to say that, that having the childhood that I had uh, has, has had a deep impact on the art that I, that I make today. Um, I'm constantly looking to push the boundaries. I'm constantly looking to find new ways to, to communicate. I'm constantly looking to, to the revolution, I guess. But not so much in a, uh, in a political way, as in a nonverbal, nonlinear way, and perhaps that is one of the things that that I share the most with uh, with the jazz guys that I so much like to listen to, is that they all seem to have found a way uh, to tell the story in a nonlinear way, with plenty of creativity to go around, and enough spiritual and meaningful impact to, uh, to touch mankind in, in its most uh, positive way. So in a way, uh, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for redemption in the sense that I'm constantly taking everything that life throws my way and I try to refine it and turn it into the art that, that I make.